Good evening, Southern Soul Tarot fam. So, um, today we are going to be doing a past life reading um, for one of our um, family members. So, they are basically having two different past lives that they are having reoccurring dreams about. So, they would like to get a bit of clarity on those dreams. So, one of the past lives, um, she felt as if she was um, basically um, a part of a tribe, like an Indian tribe. She can see tents within her dream and is a reoccurring dream and it stays with her um, every time she has it, which means that it's standing out for a reason in the dream. Um, she also does uh, end up getting stabbed in the stomach and that is what she remembers and that's usually when she wakes up. She does have a lot of stomach, um, so she does get stomach issues a lot in this life whenever she is stressed out. Um, and then her second life, she remembers, um, feeling, uh, looking down at her skin and seeing that she was, um, uh, basically of another race and that, um, it was during the time when there was a lot of racial issues going on and she was basically watching her husband being taken away and, um, put in jail with her, uh, with her child and she feels that she was within her twenties at this point. So, um, we're going to do the first row to see, um, what the past life with the tribe and the stomach stuff might be coming in that could be bothering her. The second um, part will be the second life and how that's affecting her and why it keeps reoccurring in her dreams. And the third, we're going to see what we can do to try to help her um, besides past life uh, meditation and regular meditation and regression. We're going to see what else advice that we can get from our purpose of life and angel answers to give her advice on what to do next. So this is going to be the reading for PR number 49. I want to thank you for choosing me to do your reading. I greatly appreciate it. As we're going to go ahead and get started again. Um, she is a Capricorn. So we're going to go ahead and ask for her spirit guides to combine with my spirit guides. So that we can go ahead and get the most accurate reading as possible for her. So that it can help her. So um, like I said, I want to ask her spirit guides to join my spirit guides. Along with Source, um, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, all that is good and all that is holy. So we are going to ask, like I said, again, for the spirit guides to join together to go ahead and give her some answers and clarity onto her past lives and how they are affecting her in this current life. So for your uh, past life of when you were in a tribe and you were defending the women and children, um, even and you were a woman, you felt why? Uh, what was it about? Um. There was something going on in that past life, and again, you did say you felt stabbed in the stomach, and you and you saw it, so you see all the swords here. Now, given swords are thought, but they are also something that can be used during that action. So, basically, in that life, you felt that you were put to rest because of this Four of Swords action. So, um, and I would say that this would be probably the sword, the, the one that's underneath, like I said, and they're all actually kind of going straight down towards your stomach, if you notice, where you're having a lot of the, of the stomach pains at. Um, when you get anxiety. So what else um, was going on in that life as far as her defending the women and children? Why Why was she defending the women and children? What was going on? Because that someone was trying to bring in a death cycle and they were doing it in a devil energy and you were a light worker in that life as you are in this one as well. You are so empathic and you are a light worker. So that is what it is saying that you did not agree with what they were trying to bring into your tribe and so you were defending the women and children because the men were not behaving as they should have in that time. So let's see what else the death cycle is here for and the devil. Why is the death cycle here with the devil for why she had, was defending her, the women and children? Because you wanted a brand new start, but um, when they stabbed you in the stomach, unfortunately you passed and you were not able to have that brand new start. So that is where you are on that. We'll clarify that row and get a little bit more information. But yes, um, you were put to rest in your past life with the Four of Swords, and you do see him pointing towards your stomach, so that would be causing a lot of the issues, um, that stress, anxiety, depression, um, any of those, uh, insomnia, any of those things, being stuck in your head, um, but needing to rest, so it is like, it is a resting state, so like I said, and then you have the death and the devil following it, which means that that is why, because you felt that those things were going on, and that ended the cycle of your life when that happened. So let's go ahead and see about your second life. What is this, what is going on in her second life with her husband? You had your husband taken away from you um, in front of your child, which broke your heart with a two of cups for you and your daughter, and, and not only for you and your daughter, but for you and him and your daughter, for, the, for you all to have to witness what was going on. Um, it, felt, it took you out of your strength, but you were determined to bring yourself out of the cold for you and your daughter. Now, why is 
the Two of Cups in reverse, Strength in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for your past life and why he was arrested and how it affects your life now. Because you felt that you could um, not move on. with You felt it was very, very unjustified, which it was. And that is, and, and you wanted to make sure that you gave the do your daughter the best that she could get out of this earthly realm after she had to watch what she witnessed with her father. So let's go ahead and see why the chariot is here. Um, and that is, the, it represents the mother card. So yes, you were being a mother. You were being a, a protective mother. So you kept the negative things away from her by keeping the chariot reversed. So you waited for the three of wands to come in. So you made a plan in this life and uh, or in that life. And then you waited for your ships to come in. And when they did, you went ahead and you took your daughter and y'all went ahead and took this opportunity and y'all and y'all fled from wherever it was that y'all were being mistreated. So let's see what in this life you can do to help um, better clarify. What can she do in this life to help her as far as meditation and anything else? They were saying to come in in the Knight of Swords energy. The Knight of Swords energy is to uh, pretty much kind of what I say. It's, it's coming in very quickly. Um, doing, And I know you said you've done some past life regressions, but if you do some more, you will get more clarity every time that you do it. If in When you're doing so, try to notice your surroundings the best you can. Try to notice what you see around you. And then um, that will be things that will give you cues as to times and where, places, and parts of the land. What else can you do? Once you do this, you will bring in the happy home as far as the emotions that are holding you down from your past lives. Those that, those will dissipate once you get to um, get past these things. Like I said, we'll clarify those roads to see what will help you do that. But what, awesome, with the Ten of Pentacles here, what is help? What is um, going to give her the Ten of... Not Ten of Pentacles, I'm sorry. What is going to give her the Ten of Cups? A brand new opportunity. So once you go ahead and tap into this light the light worker side that you have and the empathic side that you have, um, you will be able to. As a Capricorn, you are very intuitive and you do have earth on a lot of earth in your chart. So earth and water are the most intuitive signs of them all. But you are doing an action and that is going to be what brings on um, you being able to move on from these things that are hindering you in the past that you can't get out of, um, not so much get out of your head, but you felt were unjustified towards you and your family. So let's see, um, go ahead and clarify that as well. And again, number uh, PR, number 49, I want to thank you for choosing me to do your reading. I greatly appreciate it, and I'm greatly honored for you choosing me to do so. If anybody else is interested in having any type of readings like this of the sort, everything is in my About section on my uh, main page, Southern Soul Tarot. So if you go to Southern Soul Tarot, you can click the About uh, link, and it will tell you all the readings that I offer, all of the prices, and all the payment methods there are, are method, method forms are there for you. So... We're going to go ahead and finish up the uh, reading for number PR49. And again, we want to thank her for um, donating to the Southern Soul Tarot fam so that we can go ahead and keep continuing to um, grow our gifts. So why do you feel in the past life w with the Four of Swords and being stabbed that that's, I mean, I know that's what ended you with the stomach, but how do you feel about that? You felt that it is very... Um, it came in very slow. They kind of made it seem like it wasn't that big of a deal when they were telling you about it. Like, it was going to happen, um, that they were going to start these problems, but they really, they didn't. So, like I said, it was nothing but bickering and fighting, kind of like children. And with you being a nurse sign, again, it brought you, that brought that negative, not the negative, it brought the shadow side out in you because you did not like that they were messing with the women and children. Because to you, I said, this is like bickering in school, women, like with kids. So you did not like it. You did not like that this tribe included these children, the men included these children and women in their problems. So why is the death and the devil who, who is it, who are they and how do they, or why is it still affecting you in this current life? How can you help get rid of that? The, um, death and the devil are both here. So basically it's, the, um, try someone trying to end a cycle and they're trying to end it in a devil energy, but you did not let them. You stood up for what you believed in, which was the children, yourself, and everything that you believed in. Whether it took your own life or not, you were willing to give your own life to save others. And that is what you did. So, yes, you are a light worker and a healer, and that is why you are very empathic in this in this realm. So that is why um, these dreams keep reoccurring to you. What is the sun here for, for the recent past of that experience for her? Because you ended it. Whenever, even though you passed... And that was the ending of your cycle. Not only did you pass, though, but the work that you put into it helped ended the death on everybody else's part. Because if it's upright, you can see here the women and children are on the ground dying. and all. But here, you've taken that away. So you sacrificed yourself to save others. So you did a very heroic thing in your past life. 
So let's see why the Two of Cups is here with strength and the Five of Pentacles in reverse for you. Why are the Two of Cups here with strength and the Pentacles? Because um, you had to learn how to be independent when they took your husband um, from you and your daughter. So you ha you were forced into um, to coming out of the cold with the Five of Pentacles, which again is an earth sign, to go into um, this one, which is going to be another earth sign. So which represents Virgo, Capricorn, and... Um, Taurus. So, and the reason you're doing that is because you did it. You didn't want to fight and bicker and show your daughter that, that was the proper way to handle the situation. You wanted to show her the proper way to handle it, even though you were not happy with what happened. And but at the time, there was not much you could do about it. So that's why you kept the chariot in reverse, and you showed her not only again with the, the chariot and a glow. I'm just gonna flip it around. Upright represents the mother of the zodiac, Cancer. So here we got another water cup. So you're basically showing her that you were, your feelings were not wavering as a mother, and that you would show and do whatever emotion and show any emotions that you needed to to make sure that she was well taken care of and raised right. And you did so because y'all waited for the ships to come in. You took care of your business, and your ships did come in. So let's see what they brought you in that life. They brought you. Um, more emotion, a higher level of emotion, a higher level of emotion for not only of your past, but, um, you know, everything that was going on at the time that you were able to do these things and basically let's see, succeed for not only yourself, but your daughter. And again, I didn't know, uh, I know, like I said, in this life you're a Capricorn, but we're doing two different lives. So I am seeing a lot of, um, water here, which I thought I would, um, because usually it kind of goes in order to the Zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces. And then um, over here, like I said, you do see the wands and um, the, the fire sign. So, yes, there is a lot of fire. Then there is more water. And then it goes back to kind of like eviling, leveling out. So, let's see why the king of uh, swords is here. Because the king of swords is, is offering you the page of pentacles in this life. So, this is your opportunity because you are an earth sign. They are offering you a new opportunity by this reading with your spirit guides to show you that you can move on from this. But past life regression and meditation will be the only thing at this point that could probably really help you at least get started. Like I said, and then um, any other spiritual groups you join, um, even just watching other people's stories of past life regression have helped. Yeah, you've you basically had, you've gotten now the Ten of, of Cups by avoiding the tower. So you avoided the tower by taking this um, offer with the, with the Page of Pentacles. And that's why you got the new opportunity with the Ace of Wands. So, um, the new action opportunity that you have with Ace of Wands is you have chose to choose between two things. And I think this was your two past lives. You are finally able to balance the two and they help you bring in balance in your, in your current life. So yes, uh, once you do these past life regressions and maybe get a little bit more clarity on this, um, and how it went down and why it went down at the time it did the way it did and, and maybe how you possibly felt then that you're not feeling whenever you're having those dreams. That will give you some clarity. So let's go ahead and do the singing bowl real quick. All right, we're going to do now the purpose of life oracle for you. And that will also let you know what your uh, past lives were about and um, what this life is about. We'll pull three, since it is three different lives that we are putting together in this reading to see how they all connect and what would benefit you the best and how to handle it. So, can you show me three cards for the, the tribe, the, the taking of her husband, and her current life? So, just do one more, please. All right. So... I'm going to put them in order as they are, kind of. Um, energy healing. So for this one in your past life, you're going to have to heal that energy of where you kind of feel. Um, your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life's purpose, which means once you start meditating and you kind of get into um, what this situation was about with the tribe and in your past life and, and that you were actually healing and that was what your purpose was, then it will help you grow and to understand better and here you are showing support your life purpose fully supports you so with you and your daughter and your past life and your husband being arrested um unjustif unjustifiedly um for no reason because of the time it was 
then you showed support and you showed the right thing. And that's why that you were holding the medical symbol, which is also um, a Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus symbol. So, and now in this life, you do have children. Your life purpose involves helping children, teaching, and healing children. So, this is saying that now, which is again a very, very heavy earth sign trait. So, it is saying now that you have kind of... Um, under, maybe have a better understanding of what happened in your past lives, then you are able to go ahead and step forward and move on with that and, and be able to share that with other children so that they, um, or other individuals, so that they can kind of feel or understand why they feel the way they feel. So we're going to go ahead and do um, a yes and no um, angel answers to see if we can get any short, quest or short answers about what was going on during these uh, two lives and what to expect now. So again, I want to thank you, PR number 49, for choosing me to do your past life readings. I greatly appreciate it, and it is an honor. So we will go ahead and see um, if what the angel has, card has to say about the past life. Okay, that's that one. What about the past life with your husband and child? That one. And then the pro. Okay, so we got three cards. It is saying in your first one, there was a peaceful resolution, and the peaceful resolution was you. And that is, is that even though you died unjustifiedly for standing up for somebody, it was you ended up being the person who caused the peaceful resolution. And as far as your second life, they're saying don't stop. Keep standing up for yourself and children in, in any situation where you feel people are done wrong because you're very intelligent and you are very good at being able to do so. And they are saying in the future, trust that once you start to be able to put all these things in alignment that you will be able to figure out what it is in this life that is hindering you from your past lives. But um, it looks very good from what I can see. So, um, again, thank you so much for letting me do your reading. I'm greatly honored to do so. Like I said, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to message me or um, call me, whichever you would like, or email me, and we can go over it. So, again, I want to thank you for choosing uh, me to do your reading, PR number 49. If anybody else is interested in certain um, similar readings like this or any other readings, all that is going to be on my Southern Soul Tarot main page in my About section. It has all the information there. So I want to thank you all for joining me. And you all have a great rest of the evening Southern Soul Tarot fam. Or afternoon.